Hey guys, welcome to Unreal Labs. Today I uh, wanted to cover some old school uh, drive mapping with log on scripts and then I think we'll cover also probably gonna do a group policy using group policy to, to map our uh, to map uh, drives also network drives um, so I had to rebuild my test lab recently so everything's maybe a little disheveled or different but um, like I said let's let's get going so I'm on test lab 2012 uh, that's our domain controller, and then I've got uh, a Windows 10 box here with the user Tom Jones. Uh, let me unmap this real quick. Disconnect him. We want to, and then I've got a Windows 11 box also. Margaret Thomas. Let's see if she's mapped. Also, she might be. Um, Nope, she's good. Let me eject that real quick. All right, so let's go to back to uh, Test Lab 2012. So um, I've I've pre-made a login script, but we'll go through the whole the whole process. This is super simple. Not uh, we'll we we can do some more advanced ones if you guys want. Um, this is just to show you some bait. You know how to how to see one, where to stick it, and and. Uh, on a user account, how to how to call the script. Um, so to make one, um, I always just do it on the server, but you could do it on your desktop if you wanted. Um, so I just create a test document, uh, and then you know call it whatever you want. Log in. Um, doesn't really matter yet, and we can then we're going to use this net use command, um, and then we're going to give it a drive letter. So whatever drive letter you want to use, and then whack whack server name whack um share and then we'll do a yes to to make sure that maps and so that's simple this command right here net use is going to assign z uh on their computer to server company um and that'll be available in their under their uh this pc here Sorry, my brain is a little bit off today, I guess. Oh, there we go. So it, it'll you'll eventually see a Z drive here or W or X, whatever you want to make the drive letter. Um, so we'll then go and save this. So the trick here is we need to save it not as a text document. We need to actually make it a batch file. So we need to select all files to say type as, and then we'll say bat. Now, I already have a login dot bat on the desktop there you might see so I'm gonna do login to dot bat and when we save it it puts this little sprite so this is a, a batch file you can run at the command line or like I said we're going to add it to Active Directory uh, to the user account in Active Directory and so we've got two users Tom Jones and we have Barbara Thomas um, so how to get this in here so we've got to call it somehow. So if we let's just open Tom Jones and we can go to his profile tab. And we'll see that you'll see this login script box here. And we can say login dot bat. Uh, but where is that? Where is that calling from? Um, now what we can do is put that in our sysfall in our scripts folder. So we will go whack whack server whack sysfall. And then you'll see testlab.local, and then you'll see this folder called scripts. And we will copy this guy in here, and we can edit there. And I have this on this one I've created before, so this one's a little different than the one I just made. Um, so what I'm doing here is net use all, yeah, and I need to delete that, that in there real quick. So I want to delete any existing mappings, right? And I want to say yes to that. And then I also want to net use, and I want to use the Z drive. I want to be, uh, assign it this letter Z, and it's going to be this folder here, this on this server and this folder, and then I'm going to map it. This will get to here, and this is kind of a neat little uh, script just to say, like, just to show you some advanced things you can do with login scripts. They're pretty neat. Um, they're still used today, uh, even though most people have gone to group policy uh, but yeah they're still out there so I wanted to kind of cover it uh, so I copied that in there so the uh, the rem 2 on that that's what 
uh, filters this line out of of the batch file here. So it's not going to run this until I remove this rem here. Uh, so we'll have it there and we'll add Tom Jones. We'll check his profile. I'm like, yeah, he's got login.bat there. So that's going to look in that folder for that file. And we'll go to this Windows 10 machine. I'm going to sign him out. Because I want, this is going to be assigned on boot, on uh, login. So let's see if this, this fires off. Sometimes it takes one or two initial tries here. Let's see here. Open. Yeah, so we're not there quite yet. And you can actually call it if you want. Um, go in that script folder here. Whoops. And, and you could run it right here if you wanted to. I'm not, I don't want that to happen. I want it to run automatically when uh, Tom logs in here. So we'll do it one more time. See how this looks. And there we go. So, all right. So the login script fired and He's now mapped to company uh, on server, drive Z. And we could add more, if he had more shares, we could add more shares here. Um, so we'll, let's move on real quick. Let's do Barbara, but let's do her on, how would we do that uh, with group policy here? And then we'll go back to this, this little usernames batch file here. So we'd open group policy and I've already started a, a group policy called map drive and we'll edit that. And then we'll go to the, what is this, this is the, we want it to run in user context. So we'll go into user configuration and we'll go to drive maps. All right. And then we're going to say new map drive and I'll cover these. I can cover these later if you guys want an explanation on these. They're, they're, they are important to know, but update is usually what I use right off the bat. Um, that way, if I change this, it should just be updating that change. Or if, like, you had one you wanted to delete, we could go out there and actually pull that drive letter out. So we'll do server again, company, and then we can put a label to it, and we'll call it company share. And then we're going to choose a drive letter and we want her to be Z. And we should be good to go there. There's some other advanced options under common. We can, we can do some things there. Um, we can also do some targeting. So we could do this based off, you know, a certain machine that Barbara's going to be using or a group in active directory that she might be a part of, uh, but we're, we will do that later. It'll be another video. So, like I said, I try to like keep these between five and ten minutes, uh, just quick videos. Um, anyways, all right. So that's that's applied. So now we need to we can close this group policy here, but we need to now assign it uh, either to a group or to a uh, an OU that she's she's under. So we know she's in sales. I know she's in sales, and she's under the user group. So I will link that GPO right there. So yeah, test labs, map drive, and hit OK. All right, so she's now assigned that by group policy. So if we go over to this Windows 11 machine and we will reboot her, that way she gets latest group policy on boot up. Shouldn't take too long here. Yeah, my room's kind of dirty here, so I gotta do some cleanup. That's what happens when you lab. So I was labbing. Let's see my coffee here. I guess I could pause the video, but why do that? It's always better when it's live. All right. So we'll log in with Barbara Thomas. Good thing I know her password. And we'll open File Explorer here. PC. Oh, there we go. So company share. So she is mapped, but now she's using group policy instead of uh, traditional login script. So let's uh, let's go back to 
um, our original login script here. And like I said, now to edit it, it's not here. This is just, I copied that in, remember that. So to edit that script, you need to be, first you have to have rights to it. Not everybody can do that. Oops, not company. What am I doing? Sysball under scripts, and we're going to hit edit. Now I'm going to I'm going to copy this other script in here because I, I want this script, I want the login script to run, and then I want to call this this other script here. Um, and I've specified its location so it'll actually know where it's at because I'm I'm actually calling this here. It's not going to it wouldn't run if I just said uh, username dot bat. So we'll let this go. That looks good. Save that. And then I'm going to copy, like I said, in that location, I'm going to copy this username batch file. And we'll edit that to see what's going on. So for for what's going on here is that I'm, I'm going to look for a folder for logs in today. So what I'm trying to do, what I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm going to make a folder um, with today's date. And then I'm going to record the user name and I'm going to record the time and date uh, the user logged in. So this is kind of a neat tool if you've got guys that log in late at night, you want to do some tracking, or you're trying to find a PC. I've used it where I'm trying to find a PC people log into so I know how many PCs, let's say, Tom Jones is logging into. Um, so that's in there and we will now go into the Windows 10 machine that Tom Jones is using. We're gonna sign him out. Cause like I said, this fires off on login. So it's already signed in, it won't record anything. So log in. And open up File Explorer and go to company now. We see here we have, whoops, we have logs here. So that created that folder. So we know it really kind of fired off. So there's this folder called logs now. And then here's the the date, um, the current date. So 2 6 And uh, we'll see this text file here named Tom Jones. And if we look at Tom Jones, we can see that Tom Jones logged in as lead two and you know the date and time. Uh, of his exact login. So now if Tom Jones comes over and logs into um, Oh man, Windows 11 always gets me. Let's sign out. And we're going to do a different user. I guess I could have uh, put signed out, but this might take a second because we're making a new profile here. I don't think I have logged Tom Jones in here. Yep. Good old hi. Man, got to have the coffee. This may take a few minutes. All right. Well, I'm going to pause the video and then I will get back with you. All right, so I finally finished the new profile creation. So if we open File Explorer on this Windows 11 client, he hasn't signed into it before. We'll see it did map the Z drive for him. And if we go to logs, same day, right? And we click on Tom Jones, we should have another entry in there. And now we do. So now we know he's logged into Lead 2 today, and he's also logged into Workstation 2, and then the time and date uh, that he did that. Anyways, I hope this is helpful. I can do a whole series on some of these. Um, you know, back in the day, we used to use like if member and, and check a bunch of stuff or we install software packages if needed. Uh, batch files got pretty, you can get pretty creative with them. I mean, group policy replaces a lot of that. System center replaces a lot of that, but um, in small environments, guys are still using this. I mean, I still use this sometimes. Um, it's, it's pretty handy. Um, Anyways, I really appreciate you guys' time, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.